Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week. Uh, no, this is for December 2024. We are going to jump right in here. Now, you have this message in a bottle card and this leg up card. Um, so you could be getting good news that lifts you up, obviously, with those first two cards. And you have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is definitely a card of communication or new, it can be a card of receiving news. So some of you could be getting good news. Uh, you know, this could be about a job or, you know, a p new position or something like that. If you've been waiting uh, to receive news about that, then I would say this is a very good reading. Uh, I also feel that some of you could just be feeling, you know, more supported with that leg up card or feeling like people are kind of like more on your side. You have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. The Eight of Wands is usually something like a quick conclusion or something happening uh, quickly in your life. So if things have been slow, then the Eight of Wands can say that, you know, things in your life are speeding up or things are moving faster in the right direction. One thing I will say is going this way, we have the strength card and the devil. So we have a ton of retrogrades going on right now. And of course, if like someone from the past is trying to communicate with you, I would obviously be very careful of that uh, with the eight of wands because, you know, the devil can be the devil. So I would be careful of communication from the devil. But again, if this is, this is work communication, then this looks really good uh, to, for you for sure. Uh, also looks like a really good time to socialize. You have this other card coming up that uh, this crown Safaka card, I'll show you in a minute, but um, it basically talks about like being together with other people or spending time with people, which I think would be good as well. Uh, you have the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is about gratitude and luxuries, uh, being grateful for what you have, and then you can attract more with the nine of pentacles. She's the card of having the nicer things in life as well. Uh, she's also focusing on creating heaven on earth. So, you know, if you have an idea uh, or ideas of what heaven on earth would look like for you, then it can be a great time to like focus on, you know, um, just the nicer things in life, creating better opportunities for yourself, creating a nicer life, you know, all that other good stuff uh, comes up with the nine of pentacles. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands. Uh, Ace of Wands can be out with the old and with the new. Uh, so there's this castle in the background that's crumbling, and there's this new opportunity in front of you. And again, it looks to me like going this way, there is a very exciting opportunity that you've been waiting patiently for. And that's kind of what makes me think that some of you could be getting a job opportunity soon, or you could be getting a new position soon. I am also getting January as well, or you know that time frame. I don't really trust psychic timing at all. The universe doesn't wear a watch, but you know this might be one of those things where. Again, maybe you're getting news that you are approved for a job or that you're getting a job, but maybe it starts like in the future, like in January, or maybe you start in like February or something like that. So, you know, you might be getting the good news now, but starting later. Uh, the Ace of Wands is also a lot of desire. And, you know, again, we see also Ace of Wands, King of Wands, even the Eight of Pentacles can represent doing more things that you desire in your life. And if you move more towards your desires, then you are creating more fulfillment. And so I think a lot of you could also be focusing on, you know, kind of like working on things that bring more fulfillment into your life. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Empress. Mm, I thought I saw something else, but the Eight of Wands is with the empress would be abundance coming in for you which is good you do have the nine of pentacles as well of course and nine of pentacles is like pre-empress energy so a lot of you could be entering into a much more abundant time with the empress card which is great with the nine of pentacles you have the sun which is amazing you know the sun is happiness joy peace you know this would be this is very exciting energy like i feel like you should be excited sagittarius because you know it looks to me like there's either an exciting change or there is a change coming in for you that is going to bring in a lot of happiness and joy into your life uh, i feel for most of you it's probably you know financially related with that eight of pentacles here or um again it could be something you've worked very hard for with the strength card and the hermit card as well you know the strength card and hermit card are two patient processes you know the hermit has to climb to the top of the mountain he has to go through darkness to get to the top of the mount mountain he has to you know go through a dark night of the soul to find his inner light and the strength card she is taming her inner voice or her inner demons, which is what that, you know, uh, that strength, the uh, lion right here represents. So I think for a lot of you, it's like you've been on this long journey of uh, taming yourself, maybe, and you're like getting to the end of the journey. 
With the Ace of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. Yeah, I'm, I definitely feel like you shouldn't second guess something here. I'm getting like there could be an opportunity that's coming in for you with that Ace of Wands. And that Five of Wands is just giving me a little bit of conflicted energy. Like you're not sure if you should accept something or if you should do something if you get an opportunity. And I feel like that Five of Wands is saying like don't second guess a, an opportunity here. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this mantis. It says fearlessness, flexible, and battle. You also have this crown safaka. It says fem femininity, assertiveness, and group accord. So this is a, a card of working together with other people, which I think would be a really good idea for you. Uh, I do feel like you are kind of a little bit fearless because of the hermit. The hermit, again, has he has gone to his deepest depths and he has explored his emotions and his feelings and he's gone through this dark night of the soul and now he's found his inner light. So again, when we do a lot of work on ourselves, we can overcome a lot of fears. So I think a lot of you have overcome a lot of fears that you have and now it's time to shine your inner light. You know, he has the star uh, right here in his lantern and I always say that he needs to shine that star out all over the place you know he needs to make sure that he is shining bright and getting the attention or recognition that he deserves so I think it would be a great time for you to you know shine your inner light and get as much attention as you possibly can about things that you care about again the ace of wands here would be things that you desire but we could also say that it's you know things that you care about in life, like things that matter to you. And the Eight of Pentacles is diligent work. So he wants to be working on what he is working on with that Eight of Pentacles. And there's something popping into my head about that, like about you working on what matters to you and getting attention on it. You have the Strength card. Again, I, for whatever reason, I'm seeing these two cards as the same or very similar, the Hermit and the Strength card. They are kind of similar in some ways, but they're not. <laughs> so I don't I don't really know why it's popping into my head that way. Maybe because this has been like one journey or like one process where you have developed you know, your inner light, but you've also been working on your inner voice or your inner demons. You know, this lion is submitting to her and she is quieting her inner voice or her her inner critic and that's really what's important with the strength card and she, this is something that she has to do every single day so i think a lot of you have been working on this for a long time and you could you know it could also be showing up because the hermit kind of needs to take his place in the world he's standing at the top of the mountain but i believe and again this is not accurate tarot but personally i believe that the hermit's next steps are to come down from the mountain um, because it's very tempting to like when you go through a lot to like stay in isolation right <laughs> and to protect yourself from the cold mean world but really he needs to be you know his next step is to become an inspiration to the world so i think a lot of you are you you, you have the strength to do that with the strength card you have the hierophant the hierophant can be you know kind of like traditions beliefs belief systems belief structures can he, it can also be blessings. He is making this symbol right here with his hands, and he's blessing these two people that are in front of him. Uh, but I feel that a lot of you are more in this kind of like outside the box thinking mode. Um, you know, again, obviously, if you go on a long journey like the hermit, uh, he has quieted the noise of the world by going on this journey. He has isolated himself at the top of the mountain from the world. And usually, um, you know, when we do that, we can gain new perspectives. The problem with being in the world is that we have all these pers perspectives that are being being put into our brain, you know, from the people around us, our relationships, our family relationships, you know, everything is kind of steering the direction of our life. So, you know, the hermit mode is not always a bad thing because sometimes we have to quiet the noise so that we can, um, you know, pick our own direction, not someone else's. And the hermit can say maybe you, you are kind of breaking the illusion of other people's ideas or you're more wanting to think outside the box and kind of forge your own path in life. And so, you know, this is like a very powerful change that I see here, Sagittarius. Yes, with the hermit, you have the moon. The moon is a path where you have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> so the moon is darkness. The moon is fierce fantasies, illusions, but nowhere on the moon does it say stop. You know, the moon is part of the fool's journey and he has to get to these mountains because the mountains represent an achievement. Uh, the moon also does not stay up forever. So, you know, the moon comes up, moon goes down, the sun comes up. The moon is a temporary period of time. And I think that you are actually coming out of a moon period because the hermit is at the top of the mountains. That would be at, at the back of the moon card. Uh, with the strength card, you have the lovers. Uh, could be new love, not really love. I mean, there isn't like a ton of love showing up here, but, you know, love is always available to us. So if you want love, 
this could be a strong connection coming in for you. If you don't want love, or even if you do, uh, some of you, it looks to me like you're making an important decision at this time. And, um, you know, really, I have nothing to say about it because I feel like you have already made the decision. So there you go. Uh, with the Hierophant, again, don't second guess it with that five of wands, for sure. With the Hierophant, you have the Fool. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith. I think you clearly are taking a leap of faith because of that Ace of Wands. You know, Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. The Fool would be a new beginning, and I think you're just having a little bit of a new beginning here. It's probably something different uh, than what you've been doing in your life. You know, again, I think you're thinking outside the box. Uh, next, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this card that says your dreams need a practical plan. You also have this new moon. It says a new start is coming, exactly what we said. So there's clearly some sort of new start. Yeah, I would have some sort of plan. Um, the, you have the Three of Pentacles in this row. And on the Three of Pentacles, uh, this lady is holding on to a plan. <laughs> so I would stick to a plan. And we're going to go back to that in a second. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Devil. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is about diligent work, you know, putting the work in to accomplish something. And he is almost done. He only has one more Pentacle here to complete, and then he will be done working on what he's been working on. And he's also kind of like mastering a craft as well. So a lot of you have either mastered a, a certain part of life, I feel, with the Moon, the Hermit, the Fool, the Strength card or you are just mastering your craft, like whatever it is that you do for work. Um, sometimes with the Eight of Pentacles, I think we need to put things into perspective. Like maybe he needs to pause the work that he's doing and he needs to back up and see how much work he has done. Because when we do that, then anything we're about to do becomes much more possible. Again, when you look at all the things you've accomplished, it makes whatever you're thinking about doing next much easier because you're like, oh, I've done all these things. Like this next thing is going to be easy because I've done much worse or much harder, right? <laughs> and I get that feeling for you, Sagittarius, where it would be like a good time for you to like really kind of pat yourself on the back for past achievements or to at least look at them because and put them in perspective so that you can accomplish something great. Uh, again, you have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're following some sort of plan. You know, she has a plan. He, this guy here is the one that's doing the work. So I think that you are the person that is doing the work here on something. But there might be people, you know, you could be following someone else's plan, or which is not a bad thing. You know, again, if you have a business where you work with clients, it's kind of like you're kind of like following their plan, but, you know, you're the one that's doing the work, right? Uh, same thing with a job. It's like you're doing the work, but you're following the boss's plan. So I think you're kind of like following a plan. Uh, I also feel good about this if you're trying to get a job, because again, it's kind of like saying to me that you are the person that can follow the plan, if that makes sense. So again, you could be getting like work approval or you could be getting some sort of job like we already said. This has come up for you for the past few readings as well because you're the one that can do the work. Uh, if you are working on something yourself, then I think you need to put it on display. The Three of Pentacles is all about displaying your work. You know, it's a card of quality work. He has done a good job, but he is displaying his work to these two people right here, and he's getting the recognition for the work that he has done. So, you know, again, I think it would be a good time for you to like put your work on display. Uh, you have the devil. Uh, the devil can represent, you know, toxic energy, toxic influences. I would definitely be careful with this retrograde. A lot of people, you know, it, it's not um, it's not every single retrograde in with my readings where people come back from the past, right? Like this is the first one in a while where a lot of people are getting messages of past people. Uh, I am not one of those readers that does X back readings. I think it's silly and I think we should avoid them at all costs. So, you know, again, I would never encourage you to go back to the past. And I also think that obviously it's a devil. So I would be careful of someone raining on your parade here. It's like a really good reading, but then you have that devil. And I think that it's saying like, don't let someone from the past rain on your parade, right? With the Eight of Pentacles, yes, Queen of Cups. I, I was saying how this is something that matters, whatever you're working on. I don't know, there's something about that. You know, obviously, if you do work that matters, it's going to feel better better uh, when you accomplish whatever you're accomplishing. And so the Queen of Cups follows her heart, and she really works on things, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles that her heart would be telling her to do. So again, some of you could be getting, you know, positions or starting new businesses or doing something new uh, because you have this new start is coming and card as well. But I would say it's much more heart-based or much something that maybe you feel is, gives you more purpose. 
With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords says something is dead done over with. Uh, again, it could be like with this person here. The Ten of Swords is also a blessing in disguise. And so kind of like really what I feel here is if you lost a job in the past or um, if you quit a job, you know, I think that you're, you're getting something where you can see how it was a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out. And, you know, the Ten of Swords really always reminds me of that. Uh, with the devil, you have the four swords. Yes, I think you are healing past the, whatever this devil situation is. The devil doesn't even have to be a person. You know, it could be a job. It could be a position. Uh, it could be a, just a person you know. But I think you are finally healing from this. And I feel this is encouraging you to, you know, see your healing through to the end and like not go back to the past, right? Uh, next, you have this alchemy and creation card and this change and healing card. Yes, I think you're going through a healing uh, I also feel that it is an amazing time for creation. You have the Empress. The Empress is creation. So anything that you're thinking of creating uh, will probably be very successful for you or you know, could provide a lot of abundance. You have the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Death card. The Five of Cups and the good stuff would say that you are being grateful for these two cups. You know, The solution to the Five of Cups is to be grateful for these two cups and you, you get this bridge in this castle. And, you know, the story of this card is that he's grieving the loss of something that he once enjoyed. So he no longer enjoys wine. He's lost his taste for wine. And it's like he's sad that he can't enjoy something that he doesn't even enjoy any longer, but he used to. <laughs> so the Five of Cups really says that maybe in the past you were grieving the loss of something that you didn't even want. And But like I said, now I feel like you're being grateful, which is allowing you to get more. Uh, you have the King of Wands. You know, the King of Wands is Aries, but we could say it's you, Sagittarius, in this reading. Uh, you know, you're just basically showing up as a high vibration king in this reading. Uh, the King of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, uh, really going for something you want. So I do think it would be time for you to be more bold and assertive and really go for things. It might even be time for you to be like a little bit more aggressive. And I'm not like saying in a bad way. I'm, you know, more talking about like if you're going for a job, you know, make sure that you really get the point across that you are the right person for the job. You know, don't be afraid to um, really kind of uh, display your skills and, and things like that. And I think the King of Wands is talking about having that kind of confidence in yourself and, and just kind of like knowing. He just knows that he's going to be successful. And I think developing that belief inside yourself would be a good thing. Uh, you have the death card. Uh, the whole entire reading, as, as usual with you, Sagittarius, is kind of like a change reading. A lot of your readings are about changes. Uh, the death card, would, you know, and the good stuff would obviously be a positive change that's coming in for you. We also have these two pillars from the moon that show up in the background, and the sun is coming up between those two pillars. So again, it would say that you're leaving a moon period behind and you're stepping into a sun period. Uh, we have the moon going down this way. So it's like you're entering into a period of clarity. With the Five of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. The, you know, on a very simple level as well, this, these four cards, this could just be you finally getting something that's worth it, you know, um, with that Five of Cups. You can say that you've had jobs before or positions that really haven't done much for you and maybe you haven't even gotten paid your worth and, you know, having the Eight of Pentacles and the good stuff could say that you're getting something that's much more worth it. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. So, you know, it definitely would represent more money coming in in the future. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Five of Swords. Uh, again, Five of Swords and the good stuff would represent winning. The guy at the front of the card, he is the winner in this situation. And so he is walking away from something, but he's walking away the winner. And again, it, it would kind of like further that message that something really that you're walking away from is really a blessing in disguise because you will win in the future. Yeah, with the Death card, you have the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty or good things happening after a difficult period of time. So again, a lot of you, this could just be a you know blessing in disguise reading or a fortune after difficulty reading. It's also happy home, happy family. So if you do want love, then you know this could be love. Uh, you have this Tulip card that says great passion on it. Uh, Ace of Wands to that Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups for sure. I think that you're going to be doing something that you do love. Like there is love here, but it's not really a love reading. And, you know, I think that that lovers, the Queen of Cups following your heart, you know, I think all of that with Ace of Wands as well, which is passion, is saying that you're about to um, be feeling much more passionate about your work. And again, even if you're retired, you know, you can still be working on things around the house or, you know, you're still doing something every single day, whatever it is. And again, you could be just inviting more passion into your life. And the Eight of Pentacles doesn't have to be money. It can just be that you're feeling more fulfilled in the work that you're doing. Uh, you have this gong card. It says an exciting event. So there could be excitement or happiness, probably the good news that's coming in for you at the beginning of the reading. So that could be the excitement. 
Uh, you have this lobster that says financial pinch. Yes, I think you've been in a financial pinch. We've talked about it before, Sagittarius. But the good news is you have the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, which is fortune after difficulty. So I think a lot of you can expect more money in the future, especially if you're working for it. Obviously, you have to work for it. Uh, it's not going to magically appear in your life. So I would do something to improve your situation. Uh, you have this unicorn card that says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. We are in a very intuitive time, so you are probably being guided uh, towards something better. And I would just, you know, trust that intuition of yours to get towards it. Uh, you have this owl that says, good advice from a wise person. Yeah, we are in a really good time for like mentors, um, you know, because we, we have Pluto and Aquarius, which is the collective, and anything we do with the collective, which could just be a mentor or another person, is going to benefit us. So I would do whatever you can to get to find good advice or, you know, to find people to like look up to or to find people who can support you and to, you know, really nurture those connections because it'll just be extra helpful right now. But uh, this looks pretty good here, Sag. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.